everyone. I hope everyone is good today. Do you know what day is it? Let's sing the song for the days of the week. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Yesterday was Monday, so what day is it today? Tuesday. Tuesday comes after Monday. So, first of all, I wanted to show you something. I don't know if you know what it's called. It's called a four-leaf clover. Looks like a shamrock. But a shamrock usually has three leaves. One, two, three. If you find a four-leaf clover, I found it in my garden. It's very rare. And people in the Czech Republic say it brings very good luck. So what I'm going to do, you can do with any flower you like. I'm going to take this book, okay? which I'm going to use for uh, our story today, for reading, and I'm gonna put it in the back of the book. Okay, in the back of the book. Make sure it's all nice and neat, and then close it and keep the four leaf clover forever. Yes, so today, guys, I thought we'd talk a little bit about birds, okay? So, Birds. We see a lot of birds, especially now when everybody stays at home and there's not so many cars. I'm sure you can hear a lot of birds. And do you know any names or can you think of any birds? How about the guy who's all black with like this little tiny orange beak? That's a blackbird. Or the colorful guys. Wait a second. These guys. These guys. These are finches. Okay, then we have, we know we have crows, we have ravens, we have these guys, the red breasts, then we have pigeons, seagulls, all these, uh, you can go and feed them in St. Stephen's Green and seagulls fly around and they make this noise. So let's read a little bit about birds because there's a lot of them and about what they do and how they come up. So all over the world, the uh, sight of graceful wings and the chorus of birds' songs is a pleasure. Yes, we all love to hear the birds when they twiddle and sing and especially in the mornings, it's really nice. And we have so many kinds of birds and they all live in the some of them live in the sea some of them live uh, on the uh, on the earth some of them build nests some of them don't so let's see okay there's a few things i want to talk about okay so we have what's the biggest bird in the whole world does anybody know it's very fast an ostrich probably uh, you can call him a u a, an uh, y yumu y Emo, emo, as well, and he's very fast. That's the biggest bird in the whole world. Okay, now, do we know about this guy? Who's this guy? That's a rooster. So, chicken, chicken ancestors, the wild ancestor of familiar familiar chicken, the jungle fowl lives in forests in Southeast Asia. Okay, so there's a different chicken living somewhere else in the world. The male bird's bird has splendid orange and green feathers. The female is smaller bra uh, brownish in color. And why is the rooster colorful and the um, hen is brown? Because when there is a danger um, for the nest, the uh, mommy, the hen, goes and hides with the eggs and when she's brown she can hide better than the rooster because if you're colorful you would be seen a little bit more. Same with wild ducks and other birds. Okay, so, okay, so we have some facts about flying. I, um, we can fly on an aeroplane but we know that Birds can fly everywhere. All birds have feathers. They're the only creatures that do. Feathers are light and strong. And when you touch them, they're so soft and so nice. And sometimes we even like to use them for our arts and crafts, don't we? And uh, 
bird has different tags, each with different jobs to do. Some help the birds to fly and balance in the air, and some provide warmth, and others are useful in display. Like, for example, I don't know if we can, a peacock, a peacock, a peacock uh, has beautiful feathers. A bird is able to fly because of the long, strong feathers on its wings and tail. The wing feathers are made of primary and secondary flight feathers. Ooh, the primary feathers act as propellers, like when you have a, um, uh, when you start a boat, a boat has a um, round sink, which is a propeller, and that helps the boat to uh, be on the sea. So it's the same for the birds with the feathers. Uh, to push the bird along, and the secondary is give lift. The flap, it, to flap its wings, a bird uses strong chest muscles. Strong chest muscles, okay. Uh, the flapping action pushes air back and down, lifting the bird up and along. Nice, I didn't know that. Okay, what other birds can you think of, guys? I recently, actually, when I went for my walk, I saw this guy, a uh, heron. I was so beautiful because he sat um, on one of the uh, gardens because I think the family who had some food there for him and they told me that he keeps coming there every single day. So a herring, yeah. What about swans? Are they birds? Oh yeah, they are. And do, you, do we feed them? Do we feed uh, swans? Yes, we do. But what's the best thing to give to swans? Carrots and greens, because they don't really need any bread. But it, we can give them a little bit of bread, but not too much. It's better to give them carrots and greens. Oh, there we have our cutest, our, our cutest friends, Antarctic penguins. They're birds. Even though they don't fly, they swim, <clears throat> but they're birds because they lay eggs. And anyone who lays eggs um, is a bird. As well as uh, snake, no, snakes, yes, snakes lay, lay. no, snakes don't lay eggs. Uh, penguins cannot fly, but are uh, expert swimmers and divers. They live in the southern hemisphere, Antarctica, remember? It's on the other side where, on the top, there's uh, North Pole, that's where Santi lives, and down, that's where the penguin lives. Um, Antarctic penguins have a thick layer of fat beneath their feathers to protect them from the freezing waters. Yes, that's true. That's true. That's a big true. Yes. Okay, now. Ah, yeah. Who's this guy? Yeah, it's a puffin. Puffins are lovely and they live in Ireland. You can go sea watching. I went to see them once in... Um, um, the Salty Islands, and as well there is an island close to uh, close to uh, Dublin, the island's eye, and you can go and see them nesting there. It's, they're very beautiful and very cute. They go very close to you, and they're tiny. So puffins, and they live in small holes and in colonies. Puffins, ah, okay. Who's uh, this? Does anybody know? That's an eagle eagle a super flyer golden eagle soars for hours over land as it uh, hunts for food yeah eagles are beautiful and they can be really really big and they're said it is sometimes said uh, that they're the kings of the birds as well mammoths uh yeah they eat rabbits um mice and can also catch small tiny birds but i bet they're really fast and they won't they won't let the eagle to eat them no. oh yeah we all love those colorful guys parrots they're usually from the from south america and from asia and look at the colors they're so beautiful guys so beautiful Okay, then I wanted to tell you, well, I wanted to ask you if you know how birds live. They live in nests, don't they? they remember we had the Montessori work where we moved one egg from, uh, uh, from the nest to another one with the pliers. So 
so I can't wait to go back and practice it a little bit more. So, birds build nests to lay the eggs, they're relaxing. Nests help to keep the eggs warm and safe from egg-eating animals until the, until the young birds hatch. The way a bird builds its nests depend on where he lives. Depends on where he lives, that's true. Some nests can be big like this, some nests can be like this. Depends. If you live by the water, your nest is probably different than uh, a swallow nest, which is this one. Yay. Have you seen on your walks, guys, any nests? I think uh, you did. And then we have the hummingbird, who's the one of the fastest birds, birds in the world. And he has such a long beak because he's able to put his beak into the flowers and uh, it just drinks the nectar from the flowers. They're usually very beautiful, the hummingbirds. Yes, and let's see. Yes, X. A little bit about X, and then I'm gonna say goodbye for today. All birds lay eggs from which their young hatch. Unlike mammals, like us, because we we're born as babies, we are not born as eggs, birds do not carry their developing young inside, inside their bodies. Mummies, our mummies carry us, uh, carried us in our bodies, but birds lay eggs and then they look after them. The extra weight would make the birds too heavy to fly. Oh yeah, I never thought of it. And look, there's a birdie feeding, feeding tiny ones uh, when they hatched and they eat a lot. A mummy and daddy bird have to work really hard when their little ones are born. So guys, maybe, if you uh, go for a walk, look for some birds and see if you can see maybe uh, their little ones now because it's time uh, when the little ones hatch and see if you can maybe color a bird. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys, have a nice day, bye.